Today I'm going to tell you all about the benefits of the Feldenkrais method for voice users. My name is Jorgelina, I'm a vocal coach and I train people to use the voice in a functional and holistic manner so you can reach your voice goals much faster and easier. Before I start with today's topic, please go to the description below if you are interested in voice and breath because I have a 20 minute free lesson that you can download and it's going to get you started in no time. Now, first of all, what is Feldenkrais? So maybe you have come across this terminology before, maybe that's why you are in this video. We're going to find a lot of definitions but as the name of the um, movement lessons show it, it's a method of awareness through movement. So for me, the Feldenkrais method is a method that allows you to really get in tune with your body so you can make your choices on how to move in a way that makes everything more efficient and easier for you in the short and in the long term. In the case of singing, that is actually really, really relevant. When I started my journey as an ATM teacher, as an awareness through movement teacher, I started training for it because I tried the method before and I knew that it um, had a lot of potential to improve breathing in general and also to improve posture. Yeah. Those are two factors that are really, really important when you work with your voice. So if you go to a awareness through movement class, for example, you are probably going to be either lying down or sitting in a chair and you are going to be directed to try different movements and you're going to be asked a lot of questions. Those questions yeah. are for you to observe, to experience and to explore. I'm not going to go too deep in what Feldenkrais is because there are lots of videos about that and you can check those resources. And today I want to mostly talk about the connection between Feldenkrais and the voice. I'm going to tell you right now five reasons why I really like to work with the Feldenkrais method for my own voice training and to help other people with as well. The first one is the amplification and flexibility of breathing. What do I mean by this? Feldenkrais method helps you to really explore and discover and amplify all your breathing potential. Usually we get used to breathing in certain patterns and we tend to inhibit our, all our breathing potential, which long term brings some trouble, but also it inhibits your full potential to do any activity. Also, it gives you flexibility of breathing. And what I mean by that is that with your breathing, a lot of the times why some movements of any discipline, just either like normal day to day movements or dancing, playing music or whatever activity you do are more difficult because your breathing is not tuned to those activities. Every breath you take will have a different effect on your body and in the way you move. And if you can attune that to make singing easier or your voice easier, then bingo. So it really gives you agency to breathe in a manner that makes using your voice much more effective, easy and natural. Who doesn't want that? It just saves you so much time. Second point is the flexibility of the body tone. Now that uh, is something that normally people don't talk too much about in the singing world, but the way I work with the voice is extremely important and makes things so much easier and it saves you so much time. Just think about your voice as a connector between your brain and your body. Your voice is there to help you communicate. So I said that in, in, in many other videos as well, but for example, if your body tone is high like this, super high, then your voice cannot be soft, right? And if your body tone is super low, you cannot sing loud from here, it's impossible. Like it, physically, it doesn't make sense. In your brain, it doesn't make sense. So if you, if you can attune your body tone to what you want to say and how, your life is gonna be much easier. Feldenkrais gives you much more possibility to have agency with the body tone that you activate for your voice. Thirdly, introspection and body awareness. Now this is also super important for singing. And this has to be with the fact that you don't get to see your instrument. If you want to sing or use your voice at a high level, either professionally or as a hobby, you do need to develop body awareness. And the reason why is because if you want to work with the voice at a high level, you need to use your intrinsic voice muscles rather than the extrinsic muscles. And you cannot do that if you don't develop body awareness. If you don't develop body sensations and the sensations of your vocal instrument, all you're going to be doing is using your external muscles and pushing and that, that kind of things that are really <laughs> harmful for the voice. That's when you start getting sore because your body doesn't work efficiently for producing voice. The Feldenkrais method allows you to develop your body awareness 
more and more through the lessons and that makes your singing or voice user journey much easier. Just careful with that though. If you are interested in starting with your friend and Christ method, just know that you're going to be listening to your body a lot and uh, you have to be ready for that. You're going to know what I mean. Sometimes we are not ready to listen to our signals and, and so just know that and you're going to be fine. Normally we repress some things and yeah. Friends in Christ will make you hear yourself in a different manner. Your mind, your body, your breath and your voice are always connected whether you want it or not. The Friends in Christ method makes you more aware of that connection and that is great because it allows you to connect those parts of yourself and align them for what you want to say making the process much easier, like much, 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 much easier. And finally, another um, very important thing that Feldenkrais Method gives you as a voice user is the feeling of safety. This is super important for singing if you want to have a smooth journey as a singer or a speaker or other ways of using the voice professionally. If you want to develop your voice, you need to develop a sense of safety. This is subconscious. You might think that you feel safe, but if you start pushing and pulling, you are actually more in an alarm system, whether you realize it or not. That is all subconscious, but it plays a huge role in your voice. Because if your brain feels that you are unsafe, your voice is not going to be available for you to make the fine coordination movements that you need to develop your voice uh, and to have control of that, to make singing easier. So developing a sense of safety, it's a gift that the Feldenkrais method gives us. All of that said, let's talk about how to apply the Feldenkrais method to your voice. So this is going to be easier if you already are familiar with the Feldenkrais method, if, if you maybe took some functional integration sessions or some ATM lessons that went through movement. There are many ways you can apply it, but I'm going to recommend one today. So my recommendation is start your movement and voice session by finding a test sound. So an exercise that maybe it's easy enough for you that you can feel how it feels to sing it. If it is too much out of your league, then it's much harder to become familiar with the sensations because you are struggling to just do the exercise. But for example, let's say that you take a glissando um, up and down as your test move. So you have your sound, it could be something like Ooh. So what you do is you sing your test sound, maybe you have a backing track or something like that to guide you. You sing it with that before the lesson. Second step is you go and try a Feldenkrais exercise for whatever you need to work on. And that is something that your voice teacher can tell you. And if you don't know, reach me out and we can arrange a lesson and I can help you out with that. But let's say that you have to work on body tone or maybe ribs breathing or low breathing or opening the mouth or something postural. So whatever it is, you can find an exercise for that. And then after you do your test sound, you try the lesson or you can try a random Feldenkrais lesson. They are usually very good anyway. And then you try the sound again. Pay attention to how it feels more than how you think it sounds. If it feels bad, it's bad. <laughs> if it feels good, it's probably good. So you do your test sound again. And if it is easier, continue with your singing practice of the day and it's going to be much better. You are going to be in a much better position to make changes of habits. Everything in the singing world is about creating new habits. So that is a way that you can integrate your Feldenkrais practice with your sound practice to make both it better and much easier and your life easier as well. I actually want to recommend one exercise today that might be helpful for you if you are interested in movement and voice. It's not a, so much a Feldenkrais exercise, but a Feldenkrais principle. So what this is about is about the flexibility of the spine. Flexibility of the spine is one of the components of good action. In other words, you can tell if you are performing a movement in an efficient manner, if you can observe your spine being flexible and mobile. This is particularly relevant with singing. So one way that you can use this, for example, is if you are trying a new song, you can see how much it is out of your league by trying to sing it and observing the flexibility of your spine. If you are trying to sing something that is too much out of your comfort zone, you are going to notice that your spine starts locking when you move. So if you start singing and you cannot do this movement, for example, then that probably means that it is a little bit too hard for you. 
if you sing and you can freely move, then that is a song that is good for you to try. That it's within your, not comfort zone maybe, but within your growth zone. All right, that is what I wanted to share with you today. If you are interested in this kind of work, go ahead and check my website. There are programs there that you can take and you can reach me out to have online lessons with me one-on-one -on -one or in Oakland if you are there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.